happening right now, loved ones are paying their final respects to Amari Harley. The three-year-old died Sunday at Bruce Park in Arlington. He disappeared during a charity event and his body was found in an underground septic tank. Investigators still do not know how he got inside. Amari is being laid to rest in a beautiful casket that features some very colorful and interesting artwork. His viewing began about an hour ago at the Sarah L. Carter Funeral Home in Northwest Jacksonville. His funeral is tomorrow morning at the Titus Harvest Spectrum Church on Atlantic Boulevard. We have several crews covering the tragedy. We begin with Channel 4's Eric Avignier, who spoke to the artist while he was putting the finishing touches on Amari's little casket. Eric. Well, the local artist who painted that casket is Edward Roundtree. He says that when he learned Amari was a huge fan of Captain America, he thought that the ultimate, uh, the ultimate um, tribute to Amari would be to paint him as the uh, comic book hero that he admired. Now, this was the end result, a painting on the top of the casket of Amari wearing a Captain America uniform. Roundtree says he got involved two nights ago when Amari's father called him and asked whether there was anything he could do to bring life to Amari's casket. The following day, the casket arrived at his studio, and that's when Roundtree immediately went to work. Well, now, one would think this kind of detailed artwork would be expensive, but Roundtree said he felt so badly for the family that he did it for free. Money inspires you to uh, move faster or go harder on a job, but uh, sometimes money can distract you from, from doing your best work, you know. So some, some items like this, for instance, it doesn't have a, a, a dollar value for me because, you know, you think oh, a couple grand for this and that, but, you know, I, I wouldn't want to do it. Right now the family's grieving, and if this could bring them some warmth or some comfort, you know, that's what I'd rather have. Now, Roundtree says this is the first time he has turned a casket into a work of art. Even more interesting is the fact that he has never been formally trained as an artist. Coming up at uh, 10 o'clock tonight, I'll explain why Roundtree is urging other local artists uh, to volunteer their time and effort uh, to such a cause or similar causes. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.